Så er det så. Simple unforced errors to follow. Go jump in and ended in the third. A whisker away from a quarter final place. Over. So close, or you kind of capitulate. And I would say, to be fair to her, she's done really well. Mm. She's made three quarterfinals since Korea Open quarterfinal, China Open, which was a big one quarterfinal, and Arctic Open quarterfinal. She's showing some some really good consistency. Yeah. Phenomenal. Her shot quality under pressure, phenomenal. And her consistency is, is again, phenomenal. But a little bit, un uh, I wouldn't say they're very difficult here, but it's still getting you. Jumping in front. The, to the European swing of things, maybe you'll jump in. Just having that little advantage at the start. Played well last week, no doubt about it. And I just... The normal Yamaguchi, you know. She, she, um, exactly why is it she feels... It? And again... That Try to block sit or block cross. Never mind. If you push back, she is here to take to catch your point until she anticipates go to the front then you can change put at the back again so focus block either straight or block cross okay play fast huh? focus stuff being said to her on how to react to some of those shots from Yamaguchi Oh. Some of the mistakes had come. She hadn't quite found that balance. One thing she's known for is obviously resilience and how good she is at retrieving the shuttle. It was such a quick seven minutes to get to 11. Yeah. Playing well there, you'll jump in. Excellent. This is going very well. Not too aggressive that simple mistakes are happening and they're not too passive. That's just brilliant. That's love. Easy one again at the net. Cool player. You know, he doesn't want this end, as in she doesn't favour it, possibly. It, it, it's, it's hard to know exactly her, her mind frame of why she chose the end until we see how she feels the other the end. Other end, say. yeah. But it's, it had I mean, Yamaguchi came out almost overly aggressive and tried too hard to win the point, and it's just, just error after error. Ten game points.
<laughs> what a way okay. to... level early on the start of this second game. Oh, brilliant. So Normally would. Yeah. And I'd also say Yao Jiamin, as I said before the match started, she, I feel like she's on a bit of a flow lately. Mm. She's playing well. Things are starting to happen for her and her confidence must be quite high. <laughs> for this match and take down Yamaguchi. She chose the end she did so that if it does go to three games, she'll finish up at the good end. Brilliant again. Yamaguchi, but really well read. Yeah, I'm in. Start picks, and as we said, quarter final appearances in the last few tournaments. Oh, that's a gift. Oh. Find her level. Right. When you gift your opponent a point in that situation. That would have been. Hey, you Real. just take that point, right? Yeah. But obviously everybody, you know, makes mistakes and sometimes the easier ones, you, you, your concentration wavers just for a fraction and you do something that, you know, you wouldn't do 98 times out of 100. Right. Oh, I had to play that late, no choice. That's good. <laughs> it's the thing sometimes with coaching, I, I, you know, I get, get what he's trying to say, but you've got to explain it so that a player can maybe take it on just that little bit better because you yeah. just say a statement like that and it's like, <laughs> right, I'm, you know, I'm trying, I'm trying to move as fast as I can, it's not quite happening. Right. And aren't they? Yeah. For this final game that it looks it's going to be shaping up into. Unless something quite spectacular happens from here. Again, you know, yeah. very simple terms. And as I said, Yamaguchi was starting to look more comfortable, starting to get belief back, starting to get a flow back, rhythm, shot selection. Everything was starting to come back into place. And so, no, it's the continuous motion that just keeps going and keeps going and keeps going. I mean. Uh, and it's if this does go to three games, which is looking like, it's going to be very interesting to see how it starts in the third, especially from Yamaguchi. It's going to be difficult, but it's going to be it's going to be a a much more um, interesting test to see how the start of the third, if it gets to that, maybe it won't. Maybe Yamaguchi <laughs> can find a solution. It's a big ask. Oh, that's... you ever had any kind of injury like that, Chris? Well, thankfully not in the... I mean, I probably have been hit in the face, but, you know, not... not a bit of blood. Uh, but, yeah, I was fine, thankfully. Oh, sure. Important thing, when they change ends, both players are obviously going to play the final game down either end. And the better you feel yeah. when you are down the more difficult end, the integral part. So... It's not that she can afford to lose this game because she still has to believe she can win of course. she can, but her level down this end is dramatically improving. And that's what oh. Akane on this side. Because it looked at one point as she was going to struggle. That's a nice winner. Oof. This is the big thing. The tram lines is out because they're... They both found it really difficult to find the rear of the court without it going out. See there, Yamaguchi's so early. Game. On that end, 
and take a nice, sizable lead by the interval when they swap. That's a, it's nice in theory, isn't it? This is the bit that gets more complicated because now she's going to feel more pressure because she knows that she has to have the lead because when she goes down the other end, it's not very nice. So it puts that bit of extra pressure on her to, you know, I've got to have the lead. If not, I'm in a difficult position. Whereas it's all, it's all the mental battle now is in right. how you perceive something. This is about the longest rally we've had in a long time. And it's a little... Very one-sided. In favour of the player on that far end. Brilliant. 32 shots. It's out. All rally. Except for that shot. Her lifts are not going anywhere near as deep because she can't take that risk. Whereas Yamaguchi's getting pushed the full distance of the court. Just should be all right with this if it's a couple of points. Four points. Lovely return. Oh, look back your opponent now. Making her move the distance because she kind of has that extra distance because she's hitting into the drift. A lot of drop shots, a lot of clears, a lot of lifts. From Yo. What a lift. That's going to go out. <laughs> so, the last part of this game then. over her because she has to drift with her. Again, Uchi, 13 10, massive comeback. She's half that deficit. Yo, jump in. That, you can't afford to do that. Hugely frustrating there for Yo, jump in. It's healthy, but still a, a good lead. Oh, and they're the shots that. Takes the next one early. Oh, she made it. I think Yamaguchi's only 27 years old.
Oh. It's top ten players. The only player... Stop the momentum that's happening. Yeah. Perhaps that was enough, what she just did anyway, we'll see. Now, oh. What she was doing previously was so That's good, fine. she was working the rally. Four points in a row, it's her best run for Yamaguchi. Which I'm in desperately needing to cling on to this lead. Oh, makes it over. That's going to be... Oh, it's just... That's the lead that Yo has, and that's what she needs to win. Win this one now, and she's on to match point. Absolutely crucial. Oh, and she's got that. Three match points. This will be massive for Yo Jamin. Yo Jamin! Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.